we have a ton of packs to open. Yo, what's going on, Leaf Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Monopoly Hut episode. We are on number three. Um, and before we roll the dice, before heading into the game, we got uh, our loyalty packs to open. So we got a ton of packs to open, 82 overall choice pack, a bunch of loyalty reward packs, a bunch of base packs, premium packs. This is going to help the team out tremendously, dude, so I'm excited. We'll start with the mini packs since these are pretty garbo. So honestly, we're just going to skip most of these packs. I don't think we're going to pull anything good. Ooh, Bear Banov. That's going to help the team out. Left-handed shot. Bear Banov, beautiful. Premium packs. Let's go with this one. See if there's anything good in here. We won't skip this one. We will watch it through. So we get a Leafs camo jersey. Something to help the team. I don't think Sandstrom is going to help the team. Goaltender, actually, he might be able to replace Ben Bishop. Um, but I don't know. I've been liking Big Ben, to be honest. Anything else here? David Camp might be able to help with the team. I'm not too sure, though. All right, another premium pack. We will skip this one. Uh, last episode, we pulled an X Factor in a premium pack. We pulled Phil Kessel, who might actually help with the team. We pulled a couple good players here. Uh, Gina and Matt Dumba and 1,000 coins, so not too bad. All right, so we got a mini NHL players pack. We're just going to open up the loyalty packs um and just kind of skip through them so if i pull anything good honestly that's where i'll highlight it kirby doc might be able to help out the team other than that that's that's about it for that pack all right let's see what can we get here skip uh lafreniere okay could definitely help out the team other than that not too much 750 coins we'll take that add it to the coin total dude literally nothing in these packs literally only two good packs we get something here 500 coins in this one Ooh, Adam Fox. Okay. 85 overall, Adam Fox. Not too shabby. We're definitely going to throw him onto the team and another 1,000 coins. What a pack, dude. Oh, my God. Last loyalty pack. Again, I don't think we're going to top an 85 uh, Adam Fox. Definitely not. And uh, we're ending off on that. All right, mini NHL players pack. We get 180 plus overall player. We will not skip this one. So hopefully something good out of this one here. 80 plus. Who is it going to be? Uh, all right colin white not too great i don't think anyone in this pack is gonna help us out to be honest to end off an 82 overall choice pack which is gonna be good for our team so who will we get out of this choice pack uh pld okay uh patcheretti thomas hurdle and shane gossip all right i'm not sure who i'm going with all right i think the smart place to go gossip spear our forwards are pretty good like i can't really complain with them especially after all those packs I think we're going to go Shane Gosses Bear. Play it safe for the defenseman. It's always easy to get good forwards. All right, before we add everyone onto the team, uh, we got to roll the dice uh, for the first time this episode. Last episode, we last uh, we left off on bronze goalie, which we had to use a silver because we had no bronze goalie. So with that being said, let's roll for the first time. Rolling for the first time this episode, we get a two. So a two is open up three premium packs. So uh, let's go do it. We're going to hope that there's another X Factor in one of these packs, man. So... Let's see what we can get here. We already made some major upgrades and we've got ourselves a goaltender. 83 overall, Linus Allmark. Don't mind if I do, welcome to the team. All right, let's continue with this pack. 83 Linus Allmark in the first pack. That's crazy, man. A bone Byram as well. So you know what, man? Some huge upgrades, Allmark and Byram. Don't mind if we do. Pretty decent premium gold pack, if I do say so myself. I doubt there's anything left in this pack, which is A-OK -okay with me. Linus Allmark and Bone Byron. Those are huge upgrades to the team. Two more left here. First one was an absolute W of a pack. Not going to lie. So let's see if we can get something in the second pack. Spencer Fu. I feel like I pulled him already this year. I made some sort of joke about his last name. Um, all right. Belmar is not really going to help out the team. All right. And that is about it. This pack definitely does not help the team. <laughs> and every pack can't be a W pack. Let's be real with each other. It's okay last pack before we throw everyone onto the team noah Juleson definitely not going to help out the team there uh justin braun not going to help us out i don't think there's going to be anything in this pack which is understandably so we've pulled a lot of good players with that being said let's go update the team so the team is updated and uh can i say it's looking pretty good i obviously not good enough to compete with some other players teams but it's definitely better we got ovi Tavares, and trevor moore I think last episode we had Ovi at an 81. He's now up to an 83. I upgraded him um, just on my normal team. So he's up to an 83 now. 
Second line is looking like Kubel, Kunin, and Schofield. I think this line stayed the exact same. The third line is looking different. We're actually going to move Kessel up one. So the second line is now looking like Kessel, Kunin, and Schofield. Pretty good line there. Third line is looking like Kubel, Kampf, and Zadina, the two new additions onto the third line. And then the fourth line, looking a little different. Kolsar and Robertson is here to stay. And then Lafreniere is on the fourth line with them. Looking on D, major upgrades, man. Adam Fox and Quinn Hughes, I'm not sure how I'm feeling about this pairing, to be honest with you. We got a 5'11 defenseman playing with a 5'10 defenseman, so maybe we'll switch that around if I find that to be uh, a little too small on the first pair. Second pair, we got Dumba and Sergachev, and then third pair, we got Olison and Byram. So uh, the new additions being Byram, Dumba, Sergachev, and Fox, so the defensive pairing is looking way better. And then in that, uh, Big Ben had to go. 83 overall, Allmark, Allmark is now our starting goaltender. No synergies activated, unfortunately. But the team is looking better with that being said it's time to hop in to the first game of the episode so rivals is back to classic 5v5 for this week so with that being said it's going to be two games this episode instead of three like the first two okay what are we playing against mcdavid pasta barzell lovely absolutely lovely all right lovely start to allmark's career mcdavid absolutely burns by our defense it's a one nothing hockey game already i uh -huh. Low shot rebound. There it is, Trevor. I don't know how that wasn't a goal. It should be a 1-1 game, I feel like. But, um, you know, it's just my luck. Quinn Hughes, rebound. Trevor Moore again. Nope. Yeah, that was bad. Oh, what a save. All right. My defense. Don't know how to defense. I also don't know how to defense, apparently. Take a shot, Fox. There it is. Adam Fox in his debut. It's a 2-1 game. Not a bad first period. Pretty even. There's a goal. 2-2. Two, two. Alexander Ovechkin. I think that's his first of the series. Why does he come out with that? Oh, Byram. Like, why does Byram skate away from the puck when I'm playing it to him? I shouldn't have played it, obviously. But my God. That is horrible. Oh my god, I can't believe cross creases are going in. 4-2, oh my god, we're down by two again. Dude, I don't know if we deserve to be down by two again. We're going to have to try to rally back this period, to say the least. There you go, let's go, Tavares. Easy reads. Oh my god, bro. What a move. Over across. There it is. 4-3, let's go. Over there you go. Low shot rebound. There it is. John Tavares. I think that's his second of the game. And we're tied again. We need to take the lead here. We need to take the lead. Easy poke. What a save. We needed that. And you know what? I don't learn. I don't learn. I just... I've given him three goals this game. 5-4. My God. It's just, it's impossible to play against these teams with a team like this. Alrighty, it's another game lost. I don't think I should have lost that one, to be honest, but it is what it is. Looking at these stats, it, it was just an even game thrill, man. It, 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 I just could not get a lead this game. That's what it came down to. I was always playing from behind. We lose this one 6-4. It was a good effort. It is what it is. Uh, some good debuts from our new players. With that being said, it's back to the board. Last roll we left off on open three gold packs. We're looking for some more gold packs. The team does feel better. I will say that, which is absolutely amazing. So we're hoping for some more upgrades. Rolling for the last time this episode and we get a six. So a six is buy any card. So uh, I think we're going to go ahead and do that. So we don't have 117,000 coins to spend. Uh, like I said, my main account and my Monopoly account this year combined into one. But I have been calculating the games we've been playing, uh, coin bonuses we get in pack, packs we just have under 7,000 coins to be exact 6,948 coins so we're gonna go out and su see who we can get with that amount of coins so i think for price range what we're gonna do is like buy now 3k minimum maybe two and a half minimum because i'm sure we can get some good players for that and then buy now will be 6,900 nice so looking at our watch list we got some good options we got sagan we got Pedersen, uh point shifley hughes honestly i think i'm taking hughes over shifley and point just because uh, I mean, he is faster than Shifley. Uh, Shifley does have a little bit of better of a shot, but 
Uh, Hughes is better deking, better offensive awareness, hand-eye passing, and puck control. So I think we would go Hughes over Shifley in point. Looking at Pedersen, good speed, very well-rounded shot. Again, I still think Hughes takes the cake. And then there's Tyler Sagan as well. Again, I think Hughes does take the cake. He does have a better shot, but his hands uh, stats aren't the greatest. Now looking at our team, I mean, we could use a left-handed shot. We could get rid of Zadina, get rid of Lafreniere. We could throw any of them on center too, man. So honestly, I think we're gonna go with Jack Hughes. I think out of the four that I picked there, I think he's my f the best looking card and I, I would love to try him out. Six and a half by now is the cheapest on the market. We're gonna pick him up and throw him onto the team. Also after that purchase, we were left with 448 coins onto the account, but it's okay, man. Cause if we hit bankrupt, we're just gonna lose our coins. When we're able to buy any player, I think we should use the maximum amount of coins that we have. Okay, so this is what the team is looking like. Uh, Jack Hughes is our first line center now. He's playing alongside Alexander Ovechkin and Trevor Moore. Our second line is now Tavares, Kessel, and Schofield. So uh, Tavares did get demoted to the second line. And then Kunin got demoted to the third. And then we got rid of David Kampf and we kept Nick Robertson. I just looked Nick Robertson's card all around. If... We think he's too small. We will throw back in David Camp, but that's all the changes for the team right now. With that being said, time to head into the second game, second and final game of this episode. What are we going up against this up this game? McDavid again, Pasta, Marie, Philippe, Poulin. Man, these teams are unreal. Oh, Nate Mack as well. We just saw that. That's interesting. All right, all right, cool. All right, it's Jack Hughes's um, debut game. Let's see what he can do. Adam Fox. Oh, apparently I tripped him. We are off to a just horrible start. I thought I was going to be able to poke that off of him. Good pass. Let's go, Hughes. Nice move. Quinn Hughes. Oh, my God. Oh, dude, I just realized we have the, the Hughes brothers on our team now. Oh, off the post, dude. Very close. Good kill so far. Adam Fox. Relentless four check from Fox. Adam Fox scores. It's a shorthanded goal. One nothing. What a shift from this penalty kill unit. Okay, Adam Fox. I see you. This is a goal. That was bad defense for me. We were able to get that just somehow. Let's go, Byram. Some open ice. Low shot rebound, maybe. We tried. Can't say we did it. Ovechkin, what a block, dude. Good pass. Horrible defense from Olison there, dude. That is horrible. It's a good pass to Panarin. 1-1. One, one. Uh, maybe we should have bought a defenseman. I don't know, dude. Over across. Oh, Trevor Moore. Robertson again. Take it to the net. Nick Robertson. It's a good thing we kept him over David Kampf, huh? Two to one game. Beautiful things to see. Honestly, not a bad first period. If you look at the time on attack, we're kind of getting destroyed, but we're up one somehow. I'll take it. There's no way that's a penalty. What's that a penalty for? Now he's fighting me. Oh my God. All right. OV ain't no dog. OV ain't no bitch, man. We win this fight. We, we, need the, we need the energy anyways. Oh my God. Ovi's about to lose his fight. Oh my god, Ovi's... Oh my god. We're off to the kill again. I guess they called it boarding. I don't know if I agree with it though. Oh, is it a game misconduct too? Yeah, it's a game misconduct as well. I don't know how much I agree with that one. Over across, Jack Hughes with his best chance of the game. Poke. Oh my god, that's gonna work out. Oh, Kess was off. Gone to the races. Kessel, that's a trip, surely. That might even be a penalty shot. Out of front. Kunin, what a save from UC Saros. I'm not sure how that isn't a penalty shot. We'll take the power play, though. I don't know. I feel like that should have been a pen shot. Robertson. Three seconds. Take it around. Nick Robertson with his second of the game with 0.4 seconds. Oh, my God. It's a power play goal. Nick Robertson. A little OP maybe? I don't know. He's fast, man. He knows how to take it to the net. It's a 3-1 to one hockey game. Much, much better third period. We scored two in that period. Uh, killed off another huge penalty. Two huge penalties. One was a five-minute major. Uh, we are getting out TO'd, but we are up by two, and that's all that matters right now. Dumba. Oh, that got blocked, but almost worked in our favor. Sergachev. Oh, my God, that was horrible. Horribly, horribly timed pinch fight by Sergachev. Man, I don't know what our AI was doing there. 
That shouldn't have been a goal. That was absolutely horrible by Sergachev. No. Oh my god, what a save, dude. I'm so dumb. I gotta stop playing the puck like that. Yeah, that's on me, man. That's just on me. I I need to smarten up when I play this game, man. I'm just so go, 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 go. I, I gotta slow it down a little bit, man. It, it should not be a tied game, but it is what it is. We are in trouble. Five on three to start off this, this overtime period, man. I feel like we should have won this game. I just played dumb towards the end of the game. It's just, it's always how it goes for me, man. It's funny. Good save. Play the cross crease. Cover it up. I'm not taking any chances in overtime, man. I'm not taking any chances in overtime. I can't believe I choked that game. Plain and simple, I cannot believe I choked that game. I'm... Disgusted with myself to say the least dude. I will say I'm pretty proud of our team for going up against someone like this like a team like this and uh, You know at least taking it to overtime again. I think we should have just absolutely won that game But again, thanks to my stupidity uh, We lose it. It is what it is. We move on to the next one for next episode um, It just hurts man. Like look at this guy's team. This is unreal unreal took him to overtime though I took him to overtime. Pretty proud of myself. So let's add 603 to their coin total real quick. So we are now above 1,000 coins. 1,051 coins to be exact. Looking at the stats, like deservedly so, we did deserve to lose that game. Look at the time on attack. 1415 compared to my 648. We didn't get the win, but I see some good things with this team. All right, guys. Not an ideal episode. We did pull an 85 Fox, so that was ideal. First game didn't go too well. We lost 6-4, to four, but it was a close battle as well. And you know how the second game just went. We lost 4-3 in overtime, giving up a 3-1 lead. As a Leafs fan, that pains me so much. But guys, hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode of Monopoly HUD. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like on it. If you guys are new around here, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers. So if you are watching this video and not subscribed, hit the subscribe button. But yeah, guys, like I said, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!